and then you just continue to do those things consistently for the rest of the 90 days. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Well, basically the 90 day action plan, I redid it for 2020. Um, the course really wasn't being utilized. I mean, I did all this like three years ago and you know my business is totally different than it was three years ago you know like I've, I've you know I'm always tweaking what I'm doing and changing and trying new things and technology changes and you know things change and so I redid the entire uh, the entire program um, I tweaked the scripts I redid the entire uh, course and I redid the entire 90-day action plan and Towards the end of last year, I did the 28 day challenge, which was a big success. And it really kind of pushes you really beyond the boundaries. The first week or two of the 90 days, you do the course. The course is designed to kind of share with you how I built my business and what I do to run my business and kind of give you all the nuts and bolts there before you do the 28 day challenge because the 28 day challenge is pretty hardcore so I don't want to I don't want people to just jump into the 28 day challenge I would rather them kind of become familiar with what I'm doing first and kind of get an idea before they you know <laughs> jump into that 28 days so that's basically the 90 day 90 day action plan you know <clears throat> you, you get familiar with the philosophies that I built my business around and then you you complete this 90 day boot camp slash like really hardcore challenge it's a it's a challenge every single day for 28 days and um, and then after that you kind of understand everything that I do and then you just kind of pick and choose what parts of my business you really like or what you think really fits for you personally and then you just continue to do those things consistently for the rest of the 90 days so that's basically it kind of in a nutshell how many people are actually part-time agents in the room how many how many? Uh, part time agents? Two. Yeah, two. Okay. I think the biggest thing with part time agents is uh, number one. Well, what I think I think the philosophy there, the mindset you got to wrap your head around is, is that all right? You hate your job. You want to do real estate full time. Okay. Well, at your job, you get up every day and you grind all day, right? So once you get into real estate full time, what are you going to do differently? you're going to get up all day and grind all day. It's really going to be there's not really going to be a big difference in what you what you're doing. You know what I mean? And so I think you need to kind of settle down and kind of enjoy where you are right now because if you really are going to succeed in real estate and become a full-time agent and get out of your 9 to 5 or whatever you're doing, you know, the moment in your life right now, you should actually kind of enjoy that moment because it's not going to last. You know what I mean? Like you should enjoy every single part of the process because once you get transitioned from part-time to full-time agent, if all you're worried about is, you know, if you're frustrated or unhappy or whatever that you're not a full-time agent and you don't want to be at your job, well, if you have that mentality, as soon as you do transition to real estate full-time, you're just going to be mad that you're not a top producer or you're, you're not at the next level and then the next level and the next level. So just enjoy where you're at, number one, make the best of it. If you work at McDonald's, be the number one person at McDonald's. You know what I mean? Like when I was roofing houses, I was the number one roofer on the roof. And if I wasn't, I was trying to be the number one roofer.